Hi y'all, it's me, Anna E, and I'm gonna show you it was in my ninth Stitch Fix box. As per usual, we have the price sheet, the return envelope, and the um, note from the stylist with the style cards. Interesting and fun and exciting fact about my uh, my note this time around was that she, uh, Paige, my stylist, who is my favorite Stitch Fix fairy in all of the land, uh, she actually referenced watching one of these videos, which is kind of amazing. Um, I'm, I can't remember if... I know I didn't link it in my profile, but I can't remember if I linked my YouTube channel in, in maybe one of my notes. I can't remember. Either way, she found me and she thought it was crazy cool, which makes me super happy. Um, so yeah, so that was that. Very exciting times. And let's get to it, shall we? In order of eh to ooh. First, decidedly in the uh, uh, pile <laughs> are these Emer, Emer, Emer? E-M-E-R bootcut pants. Um, now, this is partially my fault because I asked for another pair of pants that fit me exactly like the black floral pants that I got, which, you know, were black and they had, um, uh, you know, like all those kinds of flowers, like the pinks and the blues and the yellow flowers printed on top of the pants. And they were, they were straight cut, they weren't boot cut. And I've uh, gotten my tailor to turn them into skinnies for me. Uh, and that was an easy change. So it is, it is my fault. She did send me, she did send me what I asked for, except that I, I should have been more specific. I should have said not black pants, not boot cut. Um, I want the same fit as these other ones. So these are going back. They're fine, they fit fine. Um, it's just that with my giant hips, boot cut makes me look even more uh, um, wide, really wide. So I, I try to avoid um, boot cut. And black pants just are so normal. And I, you know, I my style isn't normal. My style is not staples. I already have a pair of black pants. They're the magic black skinny jeans that they sent me um, in like my first box, I think. And uh, you know, one pair of black pants for me is, is more than enough. More than enough. So these are going back. Everything from here on out was a keep, so here we go. Next is a Brixton Ivy Bernardino Split Next Blouse. Um, I really, you know, I, I didn't think I would like it. Uh, I didn't think I'd, I, I would like it when I got it out of the box. It's a little on the boxy side. It's got a tab sleeve. Um, I think she's nailed that so far. She's figured out I love a tab sleeve. She's figured out I love a crisp print. Um, and this is very crispy. It's unexpected in color. So it's got a navy, a blue, and a purple on a pinkish ivory background. And I like it. I like it a lot. It um, it's it fits breezy. It's easy. It's a uh, it's a throw over anything. It's kind of long in the back, so I could probably wear this with just about anything. Next is a Market and Spruce V-neck heathered dolman sleeve shirt, and I asked for this too. I told Paige in my last note that I wanted the um, that black dolman top in every color they had. She sent me this great green heathered. Um, it's really, it's an interesting color. I like that it's not exactly solid, but but not a print either. It's a beautiful color. Um, fits just like the black one does, because it is just like the black one. It's, I feel like this one might be a little bigger somehow, but I don't think it is, not really. Um, just in looking at it off me, <laughs> it looks big. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. It is super soft. Um, that black shirt has become like absolutely my favorite thing in my wardrobe at the moment. I wear it as often as I can. These are hand wash, but I have discovered that if you put them in a lingerie bag and you wash them with regular clothes, they're fine. You lay them out flat to dry. It's like you washed them by hand. The black one's holding up really well and I'm on like my fourth washing of that one. So, good shape. I pinned this next piece and lo and behold, she sent it to me because she pays attention to my Pinterest, which is always gratifying. Um, this one is the Pixley Ivy Print Blouse in Navy. It's, um, you know, it's kind of a standard expected-ish print, but I have, I have found that sometimes you can't always have a critter print. Sometimes you gotta be a grown-up, and this is definitely like a grown-up shirt. Um, I think that this would be very attractive at the office. Um, I, you know, I love the tab sleeve. It's a roll sleeve too, a little bit, not not much, but you know, it is it is fantastic. I really like it. It's soft, it's flowy, it's thin, it's, um, it's versatile, you know, I can throw a tank underneath it and wear it in the fall, uh, you know, a, a jacket over it and wear it in the winter. So, you know, I'm loving this style, loving it. And for my most favorite piece that made me gasp and ooh and ah. Ooh and ah, ooh and ah, let me tell you. This is a Brixen Ivy Elmer embroidered cutout blouse. 
And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is it stunningly beautiful. I, I, I want to talk about this for the rest of my life. Will you look at that? Look at that. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I'm after. That is subtle but unique. That is different and 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 the color is beautiful. The fit of this is just um, just overwhelmingly gorgeous and I just I I have no words. I have no words for this. This had me just oh, for for minutes minutes I tell you when I emptied the box. This is absolutely one of my top 5 pieces I've gotten ever. This is what I'm talking about. Gorgeous. Just unique and beautiful and, and stunning and, and well executed and well made and in a classic form of a, of a shirt that fits me in a classic way. Not too tight, but shows enough to show my curve, but not so tight that I feel constrained or uncomfortable. Um, it is definitely modest, but um, it's definitely modest, but a little sneaky. You know what I mean? A little sneaky. So I'm, I'm really, I am extraordinarily pleased with this, especially the color. And that's another box done. Um, next box, I'm going to call it my anniversary box because it will be my tenth. Uh, it, I think it should be here in two weeks, a week and a half ish, depending, um, depending on how quickly I can get it scheduled. My referral link is below. Uh, I get a small referral fee every time you get your first box shipped, and that is hugely helpful to keeping these videos on the regular. Um, so please do click, take a look if you haven't already subscribed to Stitch Fix. It is an amazing, it is an amazing journey. I have really, really enjoyed it. It is so much fun to get a box and not have any idea what's going to be in it. It is, it's a super cool experience. I highly recommend it. Links for my book, The Unspoken, book one in the Kara's trilogy are below, just in case you are interested in checking out some YA dystopian fantasy. Uh, the reviews have been overwhelming, so I'm, I'm really pleased with that. So um, if you're interested, do check that out as well. And that's it. Here's the problem that I have discovered with cutouts. Really? <laughs> You think I can do it? Probably not. If that isn't a quintessentially first world problem, I don't know what is. I don't know.